Hey everyone, just wanted to do a, a quick progress update before starting today's video. This is my latest gym maxing progress. Um, not quite two months in yet, um, but you can see I pretty much lost the uh, belly fat. And uh, my love handles are starting to go down as well. So um, yeah, I'm still down six pounds and uh, definitely gained some definition. But um, alright, on with today's video. Damn, that's fabulous. Hello everyone, it's Jay Tahoe here, and today I wanted to make a video on photo feeler. So a lot of people who are in the uh, lookism community, you know, watch my channel, and um, you know, we, we know that there's a tool called photo feeler for getting your photos, you know, rated um, anonymously by the opposite gender. And I believe it is the most accurate tool that you have at your disposal to get honest ratings, and I'm going to go into that in the video. So a lot of people are going to say that photo feeler is quote-unquote cope, and people are virtue signaling, but there's a lot of things that are actually built in to, uh, to filter that out. And photo feeler actually takes a very, very scientific approach um, to getting these photos rated. It's probably some of the best feedback you can get to find out where you really stand in terms of your looks. Now, before I get into it, I do want to remind everybody that, you know, looks are one component of overall attraction. They're an important one, don't get me wrong, but they are one component. So again, you know, if you go on photo feeler and your results aren't, you know, aren't so good, you know, you might have to, um, you know, consider consider other things. And again, you want to run repeated experiments and try different things to see if you can change your result. But I'm going to talk about how the results on Photo Feeler are very, very consistent, and it is one of the best feedback tools you can get, rather than asking other men on the internet to rate your looks, because there's a lot of confirmation buys, and they're just going to tell you, oh, it's over, because they want it to be over for you. Um, but yeah, this photo feeler is probably the best tool in terms of telling you where you really stand, at least on the look spectrum. And, um, yeah, let me get into it. All right. So a brief overview of photo feeler. You just go to photofeeler.com in your browser and that'll take you to the site. So what this site is, is a site that allows you to rate other people's photos in exchange for feedback on your own. Now, in order for this to be free, you do have to rate other people's photos. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how the rating system works, right? There's dating, um, work, and, um, and uh, social, right? You're probably going to want to do dating because that's where attractiveness comes into a play. You, um, you rate them on trustworthiness, intelligence, and uh, attractiveness. And you can rate them no, somewhat, yes, and very. And, um, you know, so after you get about 20 votes to get a decent sample size, you get you can see your scores, right? This is one of, you know, my photos here. You can see you get a score, you know, based on how the voting went and the sample size. And then you can also, additionally, you can get the breakdown on how each person voted and, and see, you know, um, what each vote, vote got. And lastly, you can see notes. You can actually leave notes. You can leave anonymous feedback. Um, so that's a little bit how it works. Oh, but Jay, what about virtue signaling? Well, they've taken that into consideration. Let's see what they have to say about it. Why test photos on photo feeler instead of asking someone I, people I know and trust? Wouldn't someone need to know me to accurately gauge my pictures and give feedback? Actually, no, it's the opposite. People who know you are biased to, are too biased to offer useful feedback. Our most high-stakes profile pictures, e.g. business, dating, are intended to be viewed by strangers. And to get them right, you need to know what they say about you out of context. So now that we talked about virtue signaling, let's talk about is photo feeler accurate. Photo feeler is the most accurate tool in the world for photo feedback. This is predominantly due to two things. Poor quality votes are detected and thrown out before they ever reach the photo owner. And scores are calculated by taking into account individual voter styles. So a rating counts differently depending on who gave it and how they typically vote. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna discuss what this means a little bit in the uh, in the next slide here. But basically there are weights on based on how people vote. So what this means is that there's weights assigned to each vote. So you can see, for example, when I click on um, when you go into the data section, you can click on each vote and you can see. 
This was someone who rated me very attractive. This voter rates high, so the value was adjusted a bit lower in evaluating your scores. So what that means is this person rates everybody high. They are a virtue signaler. So this high rating does not impact my score very much because they've taken into consideration this one gives everyone a high score. Now, conversely, right, you also have the opposite. You can see that this person rates very low. So this value was adjusted in calculating your uh, scores. So for example, this person just says everybody's unattractive. So when they voted this photo unattractive here, it didn't hurt my score as badly because this voter tends to rate very, very low. Um, so I'm gonna talk about in the next um, slide, moderate votes. Okay, so in this example, this user rated one of my photos very attractive. Now you can see this, user, this voter rates moderately. So this vote was calculated about normal and calculating your scores. So this is a good thing, right? So if this person, if this is gonna weigh more heavily than a person who rates everybody very attractive, that means that this person, you know, pretty much rates the average person average. So this person, you know, has um, the, the way that they vote, right? Is gonna it's gonna be a higher weight now because this person rates most people average and they probably have a more realistic sense of voting, not high or low. Okay, so now that we've discussed you know virtue signaling and how votes are weighted, I wanted to talk about consistency. If you look at the scores in these pictures, you'll notice that they're all pretty much within the same half of a point, right? So what does that tell you? When you run an experiment multiple times, right, and you get a similar result, you can kind of ascertain that, it, that it's accurate, right? Like if I took one picture and I was getting three, you know, and then a seven, okay, we can say that this tool is probably bunk and, you know, not very accurate. But most of my photos, you know, score between, you know, 5.5 and 6.5. So that tells me that, yeah, like what people, the feedback that I've gotten from the community that in terms of looks, I'm probably a quote-unquote high-tier normie, right? You know, 5.5 to 6. You know, the, the average is going to be around 6. So what this is telling me is, you know, yeah, this the photo feeler, you can use that to confirm it, right? So don't just run one experiment and, you know, say, oh, it's over. Run, run several. Get 20 votes on each. I can't stress that enough because sample size is important. Minimum 20 votes. And, you know, get, get your average, you know, that's that's really this is a really accurate tool and very scientific for uh, for finding out where you stand. Still not convinced, huh? Want further proof that proof that these results are accurate? Let's take a look at my awful teeth here. Right. I have terrible teeth. So what I did was I ran this experiment. Right. And lo and behold. Right. My score plummeted. I was scoring, you know, in the high fives and low sixes when I was smiling. But look what happened to my score here when I show my terrible teeth. It dropped to a three. People are going to be brutally honest on these things. Like, you, your results will mirror what you get. Now, I know I have terrible teeth, but damn, that dropped my score through the floor. So you're not going to tell me that, you know, oh, everybody's just virtue signaling on this thing. No, the results are, they are brutally honest. All right, guys, so that concludes my, uh, my video on photo feeler. So, you know, run the experiments yourself, run several experiments, get a minimum sample size of 20 on each experiment, you know, before jumping to any conclusions. And, you know, take the averages, take the scores from your experiments and average them out. And you're probably going to find, you know, realistically where you stand in terms of looks. And that's a good, you know, basis to help you, you know, take better pictures. To one, take better pictures. And two, you know, what needs to be changed? Do you need to lose weight? Um, you know, what, what, you know, what, what can you do to improve, um, to improve your photos? But this is a very accurate tool. Um, you know, I've, I think I've explained why, um, why it eliminates virtue signaling why bad voting is thrown out. It's an extremely, extremely scientific tool. And I urge you to go on the site and actually read about what they do to get the most accurate results possible. Um, you know, and sometimes those results are, they are brutal, right? Um, but my point is it's better than asking, you know, like messaging face and LMS and asking him to rate you, you know, or if you're, if you're a man or a woman, right? You can get the opposite sex to rate you on this app anonymously and, you know, they really don't hold back. I mean, yes, some people vote very high, but that voting is, is factored there. It's weighted less. It's given less weight. And some people rate everybody really unattractive, and that's given less weight as well. 
So there's algorithms in place to get you accurate data. Um, so yeah, um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Leave, uh, leave everything in the, uh, you know, comments below. But um, yeah, photo feeler, it's definitely scientific because you can get, you know, you can run repeated experiments. You can throw in a variable like I did with my teeth and see quite a different result. So, you know, it's the most scientific feedback tool that you have available, I would say, um, in terms of looks. And again, to reiterate, looks are, once again, one component of overall attractiveness. Um, you know, a large one, but also not the end all be all. But just wanted to point this out because I see too much people just, you know, rating each other's looks and telling other men, oh, it's over, it's over. When in reality, it's just, you know, they're like an average looking dude, probably not over for them. But, um, you know, if you want to get unbiased and, um, you know, accurate feedback, I recommend this tool. I think it's a lot better than, you know, just asking dudes on the internet to, uh, to rate you. Anyway, bye everyone.